Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Solis and I'm just uh, here to say hi. Hopefully everybody's doing great. I'm doing fine myself. Um, but for, it seems for the next uh, two, three weeks, we're gonna be uh, doing online learning. So I'm creating this video just to check on you guys. Uh, I noticed that there's some work uploaded on the PUSD website. Uh, you're Feel free to work on those uh, problems if you want to, but I would let you know that we haven't uh, talked about those problems yet. Uh, that's something that we we're about to do once we came back from spring break. But uh, uh, what I'm going to ask you is to work on some files that I'm going to upload on Google Classroom. It'll be all review, so you guys can use your notes. I will provide some examples on this video shortly, and uh, you guys can look at those. Uh, I will be posting this on Google Classroom. Uh, so I might be creating a, a YouTube channel. You guys will probably see the title somewhere in here. Uh, I'm thinking of calling this online learning since that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, well, hopefully this video is helpful. Just letting you guys know I'm doing great so far. Uh, stay safe. Uh, enjoy your time with your family and practice a math so that we don't forget. Uh, so it'll be some review. I believe we're going to do uh, combined like terms. So something really simple for today. Uh, we'll probably be doing this for the rest of the week. If I change my mind, I will keep you posted on Google Classroom with more notes and videos. So remember, as soon as I post the video, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the likes button if you enjoyed the video and remember we create a new video like this one almost every single day i'm mr solis and i'll see you on the next one so like i mentioned earlier uh today we're combined like terms so today's objective will be uh students will be able to identify like terms and combine like terms to solve problems uh this is just a review uh just to get you um uh, familiar with this again you should have notes but if you don't no big deal here we go so in this case we're looking at a scenario where we combine like terms we have apples some bananas that we want to combine so what we want to do is label the names of each uh, individual uh, fruits so here we go in this case we have four apples we got three bananas three apples and two more bananas so our goal is to combine these items, combine like terms. Bananas go with bananas and apples go with apples. So let's go ahead and try to combine those and see what we get. So if I combine the apples, we should get a total of seven apples, right? Because four plus three is seven. Now, if we combine our bananas, which is three bananas plus two bananas, we should get five bananas, right? That's the whole idea, the whole concept behind that. So in this case, uh, notice how I'm using words for apples. I could have just said for A, A standing for apples, right? So that's what you're going to be doing on your assignments, okay? So that is the scenario here. Now, seven apples and five bananas cannot be combined, so we would leave our answer just like that. All right, so rules for uh, combine like terms. Only combine terms that are the same. Uh, this is what I mean by that. Uh, first of all, what what's the same or like terms mean to us? Here's the thing. Uh, the same or like terms is, is when a term has the same variable or the same letter, in other words. It must have the, the same uh, power as well. So any term must have the same letter and the same power. The powers are the little numbers. In addition to that, you can also combine numbers that have no variables. So in other words, that would be like the constants, numbers by themselves. Okay. So, uh, well, let's look at some examples now. So combine like terms. Uh, to combine like terms, add or subtract the coefficients. The coefficients are just the numbers in front of the letters, guys. So in this case, uh, the coefficient for 5x is just 5. The coefficient for 9x is just 9. So the numbers in front of the letters are the coefficients okay so numbers in front of the variables in other words uh the variables stays the same the variables doesn't change okay so in this case we got 5x plus 9x so we should have a total of if you add the coefficients 5 plus 9 you get 14. Then remember to bring your co uh your variable down it doesn't go away so you should have 14x okay let's try it again so here we go uh, first scenario, 4x plus 9x. Before you proceed, I would like you to try this. Pause the video now. Uh, so pause the video and give it a try. 
if you don't get it after 10 seconds, then I would recommend to play the video again. Okay, so um, the answer for this one, you have 4x plus 9x, they both have the same variable. So we're going to have to combine those two. Uh, 4 plus 9 should give us 13x, right? Remember to bring your variable down. Awesome. Now we have another scenario where uh, we have the same variable, but notice the signs. The 7 has a negative sign. The 9 has a positive sign. So therefore, we have to remember uh, uh, the addition rule. Remember that when the signs of the numbers are the same, you add the numbers and keep the sign. If the signs of the numbers are different, we subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the bigger number. Hopefully you guys remember those rules from when we did math one. So the answer for this one should be 2y. Because the signs are different, subtract the numbers, keep the sign of the bigger number, which is positive in this case. 9 is bigger, so subtract 9 minus, always subtract the bigger number minus a small one. So big minus small, in other words. And in this case, since 9 is bigger, it has, it has a positive sign, we'll keep the positive sign for our answer. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, just shoot me an email, and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you. See you guys in the next one.